sad time of the week. We're checking out the most popular clips in the world of Fortnite. Let's see what's happening. The man, the myth, the legend, the tire guy is back at it again. He ain't collecting any... Well, actually, he does have a weapon on him. But that's a legal tire guy. You can only use tires. He's in a final 1v1. He says this is probably going to be his best Vic Royale ever. The fact that someone lobbing tires has even managed to get a Vic Royale is probably the most impressive thing ever. Oh my goodness. He's yeeted them over the edge. This guy cannot be stopped. I'm going to tell my kids these were the Fortnite Avengers. <laughs> Look at that. Honestly, then... Wait, 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 wait. Superman threw me off for a second there. That is not a bad lineup at all. And I've got to tell you something. I never thought it was possible to get a Hulk-like character in Fortnite. But if they can put it off for Blanka, I'm saying that there's a high chance we will get the Hulk in Fortnite at some point. If you're picking up anything in the item shop, Ali A is the code to pop in. Thank you to all of these guys on screen. Seriously appreciate it. Gotta catch them all, dude. If they had a Pokemon Go in Fortnite, that would be incredible. I think she's holding the device, one of the challenges. That's why you don't normally ever see that in Fortnite. Or is she playing Pokemon Go? We'll never know. I guess that tree just didn't like it. Whoa! I think they're dead. I think as soon as you go onto the map, you just die after a period of time. Or maybe... You, no, you're gone, mate. That tree truly hated you guys. <laughs> this person is trying to do the challenge mantle five times in five seconds and has big-brained it to realize if you just go ahead into a build mode, build loads of, like, walls together. Are you ready? Oh, wait. Don't touch between the grounds. Oh, wait. What? Dude, big brain. Get that challenge done, people. This is the easiest llama loot you will ever get. It is literally stuck in the pool. You can just go ahead. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, maybe not the easiest ever if you've got an enemy shooting at you. Take him down quickly. You need to take him down. Otherwise, the loot will not be... What is going on? Stop having a jumping session. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Chill. No llama for you. This person managed to glitch another challenge. Deal 100 damage to an opponent with one bullet. Bearing in mind he's in the pregame. He's not in an actual lobby. I think it's because of a timing. You ready? Do it the second the countdown's at zero. Challenge complete. Oh, this is a good one. Got hit so hard. Whoa! Shark versus Battle Bus ends with the biggest flow. Whoa, my... Dude, he's off into chapter four, mate. He was going 260... Two, 329 miles an hour is the maximum speed you can hit. I actually think he hit the world border, to be honest with you. Bro, if he manages to make it back from this, oh my god. He became the battle bus driver in first person for a second. This is the most embarrassing way to go out. Oh, whoa. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Chill, chill, chill. Pick up that med kit. You're fine. Pick up that. You, bro, you... Look, we've all been there. We've all been there. It's okay. Oh, baby. Chapter 3, Season 3, Elemental Breakout. Now, this is just a concept, but imagine the lava comes out of the volcano. Ice freezes over. Got some crazy purple spots in there as well. Genuinely like it. Just saying, I'd give it a thumbs up. The perfect anvil shot doesn't exist. No, nope. well, this guy says differently. Yeeted by a battle bus on an enemy. He's going to aim ahead of him. Come on, this is going to be satisfying. Oh, you love to see it. Never felt so disrespected. How is he playing stretched resolution in chapter three? I, I don't even know, but he's an OG player. He's got that night skin on and he's in a top one V1 situation. This is going to be interesting. He's got himself some of the armored walls, launch pads. He's already got a crown. He doesn't need the other person's crown. Heavy sniper. You'd love to see it. But where is this final guy? How, who's going to get disrespected? Him or the enemy? I don't know. Let's see what goes on here. Oh, you see that crown lying on the floor, by the way? I'm going to randomly give it to one of you guys that hits the thumbs up button. Hit the thumbs up button and I'll gift you a crown, people. Nice and easy. Who's going to get disrespected then? Where's this final player? Wait a second. Is he, is he in there? I can't see him. Oh, dish! 
destroyed. Are you kidding me? British people be like Omni Crisps. I feel like I'm being personally attacked here. Omni Chips or Crisps? These are chips. Have them with your burgers. These are your crisps. Have them with your sandwiches. Just saying. People who vote for the boogie because of the tanks. It's actually a very good idea. People who vote for the rift to go because of the mobility. Also a fair idea. Me doesn't participate in any of the voting. Yeah, I feel like sometimes I vote. Not a lot of the time. What about you guys? Do you spend a lot of gold on your voting or do you just let the rest of the community do it for you? You can hit the tree into enemies even after they've fallen. Well, a bit like rolling, right? I don't think I've seen it used too often. Oh, this is a weird angle. <gasps> oh, clean. It was like he planned that. Very nice, my friend. How double pump actually was. Honestly, that's a lot faster than it actually. How people thought it was. It was nowhere near that fast, people. Are you kidding me? I've got an old video of me double pumping. I think people will be surprised how slow it is. Like, get ready for it, okay? So this, this is faster than normal by double pumping. Bam, bam. Bam. Like, if they brought back double pump, genuinely people would still use the drum shotgun more. Wait a second. If you apply the skin with the back bling, you can't put a back bling on. But this bot in game has got a double back bling. One way to spot a bot. And also that's cheating. That's not fair. <laughs> what am I about to watch? Default dance. <laughs> people are complaining, and fairly so, that on Switch, which forces you to play on like higher graphics, about medium graphics. I'd say if you're playing on PC, you can't change them off of that. And I think Switch is still on like 30 FPS. I genuinely feel bad. Yet people from like PlayStation, this guy's on PlayStation and PC, can get into Switch lobbies. Like this dude's pretty cracked to be fair. Yeah, he knows He knows what he's doing. How has he managed to get his, what, his, himself into Nintendo Switch lobbies? Can someone tell me, please? Because I'm looking to do the same thing. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Like, I love Nintendo and I love Switch consoles. And I'd love to know what platform you guys play on. And do you feel like skill-based matchmaking is still not quite right? Are you coming up against players that are a lot better than you? Like in this case, I feel like in no builds mode, it's a lot better. In build mode, it's a solid GG. You get someone like this, just wait for the edits. And they're probably going to absolutely destroy the lobby. We've had no build mode. What about first person mode? People are now saying that with no build, first person makes more sense because building in first person is so clunky. Genuinely, like, I think it'd be really cool. I don't know if it'll ever happen. Not like at least within core modes made by Epic, but maybe in creative mode, people will make first person versions of Fortnite and Fortnite modes. Most people want to be able to see their skin. That's the reason they spend so much money on them. What do you reckon? First person mode? Do you want to see it in Fortnite? Hidden conversation between the paradigm and the imagined. I'm just not in a good place right now. Damn, you're in Coral Castle. Dude, thank goodness Coral Castle's gone. No offense, mate, but no one liked you. The imagined order seemed to be giving the troops some aiming lessons. <laughs> Oh, good shot. Whoa! I've never seen a bot kill set that fast before. The imagined order law. We found the Seven's location. We'll beat them with overwhelming force. They do literally have tanks and blimps. In actuality, the imagined order, please stop being mean and destroying our blimps. Yeah, the imagined order, they, they've, they've got some smart ideas, but we always defeat them. I guess that works. Oh, goodness. This person's spamming tanks. No offense, my friend, but I kind of don't want you to win because you're spamming tanks in the final 1v1. Oh, that's an impressive win, no. Roll them over with a tank, why not? This person is hiding in a bush in, on a Segway. By the way, the Segways in-game are actually branded around the real Segway, which is quite cool. A collab you may not even know has happened. So they're hiding in a bush, there's enemies in front of them. <laughs> what are they doing? I wanna see if they can put off a Segway victory royale. Yeah, roll up to them. Go on. No way. Dude, they have no idea. Ha! <laughs> uh, Peely. Uh, Barney, mate. You've literally got some Segway people. Uh, you, you, you good? Can I get you anything? Oh, my. <gasps> How are they getting away with this? Are you kidding me? They have no idea. Oh, it's only those guys in Segway, guys. Who's going to win Team Segway or the blind oppositions? Mate, they're, they're, they're committed to these Segways. I've got to respect it. I've got to respect it. They're committed to the end. Oh, I've not seen the trailer yet for the new crew skin. She's so cool. She's like got robotic arms on top of her normal arms. She fights with the robotic arms. 
Did she just chill like this? She literally just crossed her arms. It's a really cool trait. I think it's one of the better... Oh, the pickaxe is dope. This is one of the better crew skins we've had in Fortnite in a long time. Last year, been a little bit weak. I like this one. It's a GG for me. What do you reckon? Do you think it's unfair that we've won all of the Imagined Order fights so far? Or do you think they should be winning some of them as well? We know the last one's going to go down at their main base. And that could be where the end of season live event happens. If that happens, make sure you subscribe. Your boy always live streams the events. <laughs> Solos is miserable. Me just trying to have a good time. A jetpack drum shotgun player. Yeah, can't lie, that combo is deadly and annoying. Just don't go near them, okay? We've got a full team of prowlers with purple weapons. Whoa. Oh my. Oh my. That is a grenade and a half. Oh, dude, talking about Blanca and uh, Hulk. If you take the skin and literally just remodel it a little bit, shout out to Emerald Bro that's done this. I mean, look, it, it, I mean, that is the Hulk, man. Looks pretty spot on to me. We got to see it for it. No, I reckon it's coming. I'm going to say next season, I reckon it's coming. I heard you liked ammo boxes. So we put an ammo box inside an ammo box. It's a lot of ammo. I love classic OG Fortnite clips. If you post anything on the Fortnite subreddit, please post some more OG stuff because it's so fun to watch it back. What's he going to do? The most ineffective way to take down the trap, but it's fine. OG days. We know what we're all like. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, the foundation docked train of a custom line back to remind me that the odds are against us. Interesting. I'm, I'm not even kidding. The, the, these clips just are getting better and better. This is a fired out clip landing on a flying skin in Fortnite. What? Another week of amazing clips. If you want to check out the official Allier iPhone cases, these will protect the outside and the back of your phone with some incredible designs. Link to Allier.shop, my official merchandise in the description. Check them out or click another video on screen here to keep on watching. I'll see you over there.